Hi, my name is Aditya and today we'll be uh, performing an experiment on uh, configuring firewalls. Uh, so the objective of this lab is to study the role of firewalls and virtual private networks in providing security to shared public networks such as the internet. A quick overview, uh, computer networks are typically a shared resource used by many applications for different purposes. Sometimes the data transmitted between application processes is confidential and the application users would prefer that others be not, not be able to read it. So for that case, for in that uh, scenario, uh, a firewall router is a specially programmed router that sits that we can use. So it sits between a site and the rest of the network. It is a router in the sense that it is connected to two or more physical networks and it forwards packets from one network to another, but it also filters the packets that flow through it. A firewall allows the uh, system admin to implement a security policy in one centralized place. Filter-based firewalls are the simplest and most widely deployed type of firewall. They are configured with a table of addresses that characterizes the packets they will and will not forward. So we are looking at two scenarios in our experiment. One would be a scenario where we have no firewall and the other would be where we will put a firewall in place. So starting off with the no firewall scenario which is depicted over here. So I first select my project, uh, I name my project, I name my view as no firewall. Next I uh, drag all these components from my object palette which is uh, namely uh, application config, profile config, I, IP32 cloud which acts as an internet, triple P server, uh, triple P server uh, supports one underlying serial line internet protocol, connection at a selectable data rate, then we select three Ethernet 4 slip in gateway routers and two triple P workstation hosts. Uh, okay, and to connect all these components, we make use of triple P DS1 links. And these links have uh, these links have a data rate of uh, 1.544 Mbps. Next, we configure the nodes. Uh, so we configure the applications node. Uh, edit attributes and uh, assign default to the application definitions click on ok next we go to profile definitions uh, change uh, go to profile configuration click on uh, sample profiles and that's it yeah okay next we uh, go to so uh, right click, we change, uh, we go to applications, we go to support profile, uh, supported services, click on all and that's it. That's next, uh, we <coughs> click on sales A node. Again, edit attributes, <coughs> over here we apply changes, uh, we make sure that we select this option so that uh, the changes happen to all my selected objects. Oh, sorry, before that, uh, I had to click on select similar nodes, edit attributes, and here I'll click on applications, supported profiles, change the number of rows to one and assign the profile name as salesperson and click on OK, make sure I select that option and that's it. Next, uh, next we look at the statistics. So click anywhere on your workspace, click on choose individual DA statistics. Now I want to choose two things, uh, one is DB query and one is your know, DB query response time in seconds and page response time in seconds for HTTP. Now DB query response time is measured from the time when the database query application sends a request to the server at the time it receives a response packet. HTTP page response time specifies the time required to retrieve the entire page with all the contained inline objects. So I've selected those two things and now uh, Yeah. So next, I want to select the statistics for my sales A and sales B. I'm going to click on one of them, select some of the nodes, edit attributes. Oh, sorry. Uh, choose individual DS statistics. 
and here I want to uh, again select. I want to no, here I want to select client DB traffic received in bytes per second and uh, client HTTP traffic received in bytes per second. Uh, press on OK. Next, uh, so now this was the no firewall scenario. Now we want to put a firewall in place. It's so the next scenario. So we make router C as our uh, we make router C as a firewall. So we go to duplicate scenario and uh, copy uh, duplicate scenario and name our new scenario as firewall. Now here. Uh, we assign the Ethernet to slip 8 firewall to the model attribute for router C. There you go, Ethernet to slip 8 firewall. And for proxy server and inside uh, proxy server information for row 1, which is uh, for the database, we make sure that the application is database and the proxy server deployed is no. Then we click on OK. So a firewall configuration does not allow database related. To, so, so what we did here was that by doing this, a firewall configuration will not allow database related traffic to pass through the firewall. It filters such packets out. This way the database uh, databases in the server are protected <coughs> from external access. Your firewall scenario should look like the following figure. There, that, there it is. That's our scenario for firewall. Though we are not going to do this, we are going to skip this next because this uh, coming to the results part of a simulation, we click on run and then make the, uh, keep the simulation to be uh, to run for five hours. Click on run and then click on results browser. <coughs> now we are looking at two things here uh, for both sales A and B. First is the client DB request which we are sending. So the query request uh, looking at traffic received in bytes per second per salesperson. So the graph for that looks something like that. Uh, we click on overlaid statistics and time average. So the red one is for uh, the no firewall scenario where uh, we are receiving traffic, but for the firewall scenario, the traffic is zero because a router C which has become a firewall is blocking all the uh, DB, DB query requests coming. So that's why we have no traffic there. And the client HTTP uh, traffic received in bytes per second graph looks something like this. Uh, I'll just remove the client DB status. Start from that. That's how it looks. For sales B is going to be something similar for client DB again. Uh, that's the graph for no firewall and that's the graph for firewall. And for client HTTP, uh, we're going to have a graph which looks similar to the one in case of sales A. So that's it. That completes our <clears throat> experiment on firewalls. And thanks for watching.